What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy right here with another. I love Dax. I love Dax, man. For real, for real. Dax has been dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. Consistency is key when it comes to doing this shit, man. You gotta be on top of it in order to be on top of it. You can hide that one for free, Dax, man. Don't even worry about it. You can hide that one for free, bro. Facts. Dax, the song is called uh, Life. Let, let, let's see. I gotta. I found out what was the noise that was that I was doing. It's the mouse that's making noises too close to the mic. But when I get the new studio, that's gonna completely change. So, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. Federico, cut the beat, get the merch. I'm a fucking idiot. Dax. The song is called Life Official Music Video. That's my brother from another mother. It is on you. Oh, God, I'm about to get told by it. I already know what's going to happen right now. And can I be 100% honest with you guys? I like this type of Dax music. When he gets like this. You can tell the title. It's hard to be in the URA, know he's going with this. I love his rap shit. I love his fast rap, all that cadence, flows, bars, schemes, all that shit that he does. Beautiful. This is my favorite, though. Because when he gets like this, he talks, talks, for real. He talks that grown man shit. Y'all niggas don't know nothing about that. Relax. Relax, more. This life gets real hard and sometimes you may feel you're out of place You may think this time then blink and find it's gone and you can't waste You gotta let go, hold him, brace it, close your eyes and walk by faith And go who today, don't wait, hey, go who today, don't wait, don't wait, go who today Life is crazy, it can switch up in a second, school of hard knocks taught me how to deal with my aggression I was never one to cry, my face was blank with no expression Had to keep a strong face, go to war with my depression I was hurting inside, battling with my faith but got it. Listen to the hook, listen to the hook, and let's see how it came into that shit. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Walk by faith, my brother. Walk by faith. That's what you. That's that's key to your success. No matter how, I'm not even gonna get into. Should I get into it this early? I'm not even gonna get into it because I already know where this is going. It's easy to fuck up. It's hard. To you try to live right and make right decisions when you're a human being and have the urges and, ha and have, you know, issues of your own that you have to deal with. And you just want everything to become easier for you. You've tried everything. And nothing's working. But if you don't walk by faith, then nothing else matters. There's probably a lot of people in this, that, that's not probably, there is a fact. A lot of people in this world that, that, that don't believe in anything. And that's that. I respect that 100%. You believe, you your own person, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I respect that 100%. I've gone 
responded to a point in my life where when I was on drugs and I felt empty that I lost all faith in anything and I started to become a shell One day I, I stopped and I said, you know what? I'm going to put it in his hands. And I did what I had to do on my part. And then magically I'm here now. With you guys and with my family off of drugs. Not depressed anymore. Dealing with it, fine. I have, I'm, not, I'm not having no issues. I'm not having no. That monkey is on my shoulder. Is out of here. And this is beautiful because this is this is more of a positive type of feel song right now. This life gets real hard and sometimes you may feel you're out of place You may think this time then blink and find it's gone and you can't waste You gotta take go hold, embrace it, close your eyes and walk by faith And go today, don't wait, yeah, go today, don't wait, don't wait, go today Life is crazy, it could switch up in a second School of hard knocks taught me how to deal with my aggression I was never one to cry, my face was blank with no expression Had to keep a strong face, go to war with my depression I was hurting in the Gotta keep a strong face when you're going through some shit in your head And there's a lot of shit that's, that's jumbling up And it, you're, you have so much pressure going up on here That you can literally feel every single day when you wake up in the morning That your fucking head is gonna explode Because you have so much crazy shit going on in your head right now and you put this this facade. We all have a mask when we are addicts. We all have a mask when we're when we're suffering from depression. We all wear that mask, and that mask is to show everyone else in the world that everything is fine. Not knowing that we're using more energy doing that than the energy that's going to take for us to get off. Can you imagine every single day being fake? Lying to the people that are next to you, lying to the people that's around you. I can see that now because I'm sober. I can see that now because I, I, I understand what I did and I, and I will never take, I will never take anything that I did back because I will not be the man that I am today. And that's a fact. We are all in this whole entire world go, are going through the same shit. So instead of using our social media or, 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 or YouTube or anything like that to, to, to just dive into a wormhole of negativity, why don't we try to find each other and try to understand we're not by ourselves. We, there's, all of us are out here. We're here. Yo, yo, you. you you belong here. What are you doing? Come over here. You can't. If we, you can't. If, you, if you're going through what you're going through right now, I get it. I understand it, man. But I did also understand that nothing was going to happen until I made the first move to get to that point of happiness. It's hard. It's, it's the most difficult thing that you're going to do ever in your whole entire life. But once you go over that hump, you're going to be surprised how easy it is. I've been through so much shit in my fucking life that when I go back and start thinking about it, it's amazing that I'm still here with you. That I'm here alive. Semi-healthy. Semi. I'm just get back to it. battling with my faith, but God ain't never gave me nothing I can overtake. Keep putting me in position to get stronger through the pain. Do appreciate the sun after the rain. He 
He put me in position to feel stronger with the pain. If you've never been through shit in your whole entire life, respectfully, this doesn't concern you. And I say that with the utmost respect. I'm not hating on you or anything because I've had a couple of, I, I, I've talked about this subject a lot. And I had a lot of people tell me I've never been through any anything like that. So I wouldn't understand. And, and that I understand. I understand that, that, I mean, that's good for you. That's, that's more of a, of a applaud to you because you had, you didn't have to go through the shit. No jealousy, no hate. It's just that the ones that been through it, that's been through the mud, that's been through the, through the bullshit, through the, through the lies, through the stealing, through, through the, just the crazy shit that you had, of, you, you, you did or witnessed. Well, if you could get out of that, you become a stronger person inside. You could deal with a lot of shit. You could be, you're a patient person when you pretty much your whole entire life trained yourself to deal with bullshit. Because you have that extra facade, that extra attitude, that extra, you know, I'm not taking shit from nobody. You're going to stand your ground no matter what it is. You can't be that way as a human being. I'm pretty sure you can be that way as a human being without going through shit. But it's 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 a different type of person when you get out of the get out of that situation. You become so different. Your mentality gets completely changed, and it's actually it's like you you're reborn. But like I said in the beginning, like what Dax is saying, if you don't have that faith, if you don't have that that you know, I'm gonna put it in your hands, God. It's on me. You gotta do your part. You got you gotta be the one to make those steps. And then he'll come and he'll give you that hand when it's necessary that you need it. He's making you a strong person. A strong person with a strong mind can make his own decision whether he believes in him or not. And God wants the people to believe in him, to have faith in him, to fear him. So he's going to make us soldiers. He's going to make us strong enough to withstand whatever this crazy world throws at us. He's giving us the ammo by making us stronger. We just got to know how to load that motherfucker and shoot. And that's it. I'm sorry, guys. You get me. You, it's your fault, bro. You get me to this position. Hold on. He put me in position to get stronger through the pain Do appreciate the sun after the rain We got a reminder that it gets better with time And we got one life to live and it's guaranteed that we die So when we open our eyes and take a look in the sky Just be thankful to come to the day yeah. This life gets real hard and sometimes you may feel you're out of place You may think this time then blink and find it's gone and you can't waste I'm fucking with this song 100% man is, oh, and you know what's crazy? Now that I'm putting all together, Dax, before he became crazy famous, he was a janitor, right? Am I bugging, or was he a janitor at one point in his career? I think Scrooge is some stupid shit about that. I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's what he said about making fun of him about being a janitor. Being a janitor is hard work, my nigga. You know what the fuck you got to do? Come on, dog. That ain't no slack work. Hey, I had to do I had to do um, community service at one point in my life, <laughs> and I was a church. I was in the church, and I was pretty much a janitor. I was cleaning the floors, vacuuming, waxing, and throwing out trash and doing all that stuff. Though that shit ain't fucking easy, bro. It didn't pay shit. <laughs> you may think this time, then blink and find it. But what I was gonna say about that is. It's crazy because he, he's talking about, he's talk, he's pretty much throwing the image out there of him back in the beginning when he started. He was a janitor, and that's, and that's his mentality was what the other dads are singing about. He's singing about that situation, about I came and I got into the mud, I had to come up, and I had to do what I had to do in order to make it.
But have that faith word, that big word right there, faith. Just like vitamin D, brother, it'll clear your mind. Fact. Don't talk your shit. Talk, talk, talk your shit, damn. Feel you're out of place. You may think this time, then blink and find it's gone and you can't waste. You gotta take a hold, embrace it, close your eyes and walk by faith. And go who today. It isn't promised all the time you got to borrow Don't live your life for other people, don't bottle Your emotions till they crack and fill a cup with your sorrows I Take your mind and refocus, go get a paper Write your goals out, throw your middle for fingers At all your haters, add some hard work and All of you niggas, all of you See, they told, that told me to do it Leave all that negativity away, man Go ahead, Dax Leave all that, you, you belong here You need to be here You're wanted, come here let me show you something. Talk that shit next on a Friday? Oh, we doing this on a Friday, my nigga? Man, I should react to this on a Sunday on the Lord's Day. Let's go. Hey, don't wait for tomorrow. It isn't promised all the time you got borrowed. Don't live your life for other people. Don't bottle your emotions till they crack and fill a cup with your sorrows. I right. Take your mind and refocus. Go. Let it out. Talk to somebody. There's a lot of a, a lot of numbers that are out there that is very easily accessible. You go on Google and you put down there whatever hotline fits you, and you will find somebody to talk to. People that that do this for a living that know what you're going through, they've probably been there themselves and are trying to walk you through it. Call those numbers, ladies and gentlemen, because. I ain't gonna lie, I was at a low point at one point, and I, and I called one because I was I was I was done. I I, I want to get out of here. I want to leave. And something told me to call that number because I have I've had the number like on my computer on like on a card, and I had my number on it, on their number on it, and I just looked at it and I was just like, I put it down and I picked up the phone. I was on the phone with him for three and a half hours that night. Three and a half hours. His name is Eric. I, like I, I will never forget that man's name. And Eric, if you see this and if you out there and whatever it is, man, you helped me out that night so so much. You don't even know. Without Eric, there will be no vibe reactions. And I, I hope to God that you see this somehow, some way. Without you, there will be no me right now. And I love you for that. You're always going to be in my prayers and in my heart because you didn't have to be there on that phone that long. You didn't know me. So shout out to you, Eric. Shout out to Eric in the comment section. If somebody, I don't know, it will be difficult. It happened. This was like 10 years ago. So I don't know, but. Shout out to you, my guy. I appreciate you. Don't bottle your emotions till they crack and fill a cup with your sorrows. I take your mind and refocus. Go get a paper. Write your goals out. Throw your middle for fingers at all your haters. At that's a that's a good that's a good good plan. I did that too. Dax knows what the fuck he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Take a piece of paper. Take a notebook. Take something. Write down all uh, all the goals that you want to accomplish at the at the end of the month, at the end of the year, wh however you want to do it. Write down at least 10 goals and make them realistic goals. Don't be playing, I want to be a millionaire, because that's dumb. Put 10 realistic goals that, that, to help you, your, your mind, your, your, to help you boost your, your, your energy. And I'm telling you, it works. It's, I'm telling you, you know what was one of mine? Have a successful YouTube page. Take your mind and refocus, go get a paper, write your goals out, throw your middle for fingers at all your haters, add some hard work and on top of it, mixing consistent prayers, say you're never gonna quit, I am. Put some hard work in and mixing the consistent, he's giving you the gumbo and y'all niggas don't wanna eat, that's crazy, he's giving you the gumbo, y'all niggas said I ate already, the fuck out of here, that, this is positive Dax, this is positive, I'm trying to stay positive.
Alright, cool. Fingers at all your haters, add some hard working on top of it, mixing consistent prayers, say you're never gonna quit. I am not and see you later. Cause I gotta remind that we not meant to survive. We meant to live in the moment and make the best of our lives. So when we open our Did you hear what he said? We're not built to survive. We eventually are out of here. So why use every bit of moment of the world? Without trying to work to make yourself happy. And then when you get to that point, consistently stay happy and do things that's going to make you happy. Spend time with the family. Take little vacations. It doesn't have to be expensive. Go get a, a cheap hotel for the weekend somewhere around your area that's, that's exciting. In Florida, go go to Orlando. Go to Miami. Get, don't, don't go to Miami. Don't, don't go to Miami. I'm sorry. I will, I will never promote. Go to Orlando, go to Disney, or not even Disney, go to fucking water park, do something. Get your mind away from all the crap that you have to deal with on a daily basis. We're not, our brains are not meant to deal with that much bullshit on a consistent basis. We need to give our brain a break. Like right now, I want to tell you guys, turn off your phones, don't even finish watching this fucking video. Just get away from the phone, spend time with the family, do, do that. That's what he's saying, bro. Everything that Dex raps about is about positivity. It's about helping others. Sharing his stories with us is what helped a lot of people come out of where they at right now. When you could, when you do this in music and, and you use your platform to, to promote this, ain't nothing better in the world, man. Shout out to Dax, bro. Mind that we not meant to survive. We meant to live in the moment and make the best of our lives. So when we open our eyes and take a look in the sky, just be thankful and come to the day. Yeah. This life gets real hard and sometimes you may feel you're out of place. You may think this time then blink and find it's gone and you can't waste. You gotta take a hold, embrace it, close your eyes and walk by faith. Shortcut slap the shit out of me. Boy. Dax, I appreciate this song more than you know, my brother. Thank you for this. I really, 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 really needed this today. I absolutely need this. Like, it's like God 
came down to give me a message. Some shit happened at work today that I was about to do ungodly things. And I, 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 held, I held my composure. I talked to my wife. I calmed myself down, and it didn't happen. But this right here brought me back to where I need to be, so I appreciate you for that, my guy. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I got one more coming for tonight. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. Peace!